Welcome to another GibbsCam version 14 video. Now I have this part in my library that I've shown you before on how to deburr and showed you how to go about doing this, but today we want to show you a little bit about simulation and specifically machine simulation. So here's our regular machine simulation. Let me slow it down a little bit. Now this of course is doing five axis deburring and you can simulate in a number of ways. Uh, by clicking on this little paddle lock here. This is, stands for POV, point of view. So let's just do it with the standard. Let's click on here. Standard fixed part. And you can see the tools going to move around our part here. And the part will stay stationary. Okay, now if you want to actually see the vice move as it would in a five axis machine, we'll click on this again and go down to machine. We'll slow it down a little bit, rewind it, play again, and as you can see, this is how it would react in your five axis machine. Speed it up a little bit there. A little bit choppy because I'm recording at the same time. So there you can see it. Now you're saying, well, what does it look like in my machine? Well, in this case, we're going to close this. And we're going to click this arrow down to Machine Sim. And that's going to take a second to load. And there we have our Machine Sim. This, In this particular case, it's an Akuma Genesis 460V 5-axis. So there we have our vise on the table, our part in there. We'll slow this down a little bit and play. Zoom it up a little bit. So you can see how it is in the machine, but let's say you want to kind of look at the back of the tool to see how close it's getting to the other part. Well, as you're moving around and trying to get the back, it's kind of hidden there. So let's turn those off. So in this menu right here, component visibility brings up our machine. And you can do multiples here by clicking on the eyeball, but I'm just going to click on this here and say hide that. The sheet metal will hide a number of things here, maybe the logo, a couple other things here. Keep that. Okay, let's get rid of that. And uh, maybe that sheet metal and maybe the logo. Okay, now you can see you can get a better visual by looking at the back of that. Let's close this. Rewind again. Now you can get a better visual of what it's going to do in the back side. And of course in Gibbs you can tell it to stay within a certain degree of range or lots of other choices in 5-axis. So if you have machine sim, you can set something like this up and see exactly what your machine is going to do when you do cut part render. Here you can turn off anything you'd like just by clicking on it and telling it to hide. Thanks for watching.